Moving on again to some case studies, Nickelodeon and the House of Anubis. This is crossbreeding Roman Catholicism. Where this is a Catholic uh, school or high school with the religion of Egypt. And Roman Catholicism is paganism. Uh, it is stemming from Babylon and those mysteries. So this is not should not be a surprise to us. The checkerboard of Freemasonry, the dualism going on. Here are the connotations to Egypt. You see the Egyptian. There is Anubis. Again, the checkerboard on the side here. And they show you rituals, down triangles, Druidic priests. This is all secret society stuff. And of course, all of the actors and actresses do the single eye symbology. Can it be any clearer to us? This is Britney Spears, now a glee. Uh, she does the horns. We've seen that in the Il Cornudo uh, plates uh, early on. The triangles up. Single eye symbology. Again, single eye symbology. Single eye symbology with abuse. We just don't get it. We think it's just fashion and art. Charisse, this is a life magazine, a life image. So we understand early in earlier plates the reverence toward Egypt. And so here she is with the pyramid. Oh, she's Filipino and she has all of those people indoctrinated. Now we have uh, the triple six. We have the horned animals. We have the owls. We have the hexagrams. We have Wicca and witchcraft, and we have the single eye triangle and the 666 in the other eye. Kardashian was on there, now she's putting the star or the pentacle in the eye, showing you the single eye symbolism. And now look at her home, black and white checkerboards. She even had a black and white wedding. Her child, I don't know if that's her child or a relative, but here we are. Skull and bones. Look at the checkerboards everywhere black and white. This is, it should be obvious to us, but we just don't know because we don't research it. Here's Richardson, Terry Richardson, slimy photographer, if you can ever say he is. Of course he wears the crucifix. Yeah, he's Christian. I believe he's also a homosexual, but in this case, he does a photo shoot for GQ magazine. Here's Glee, and you can see the sexual connotation. I don't have all the images. It's a little more raunchier than this. There's the G of Glee. The three bars. Uh, if you don't understand what the three bars are in Hinduism, or the three stripes, they are the representation of the male uh, phallus. And I can't explain it here, but also the G symbolism here. So understand that everything has meaning in these images. Uh, I think uh, Jay-Z came out with an um, album with the three stripes on it. Adidas is the brand of three stripes. So we have uh, cupcakes, pentacles going on. Krayshawn, I believe she is a prime example of mind control. Krayshawn here, now the sexual connotation as we can see. Mickey ears, sign of the benediction. Look at the photo shoot that Terry Richardson does. Alcohol, the third eye or eye of Lucifer in the spiritual eye, he's saying, yes, I got her. Now she's praying. That is the sign of, in witchcraft, sign of the moon or the female. And the single eye symbolism with the sexual connotation. Here's Terry Richardson again with another mind control uh, slave. And, of course, he's having fun, and she's doing the eye in the triangle, dressing up like Marilyn Monroe. Here she is, looking odd, showing you the middle finger. Here's Marilyn Monroe. Do you see it, or is it just really going past your head, and you can't quite, can't, uh, can't quite understand that this is all mind-controlled? MK Ultra. Project Paperclip. She doesn't look well, does she? And look at the connotation now. Crucifixion. As above, so below, between the pillars of Freemasonry. 
You have the female kitten connotation with the fur and the prints in other uh, leopard prints in other uh, sections. Lady Sovereign of the United Kingdom, eye in the triangle, triangles and eyes, black and white, black and white checkerboards. We've seen some of these images before. Black and white triangles, the eye with top hats of Freemasonry. Continuing on, life image. We saw this in the original plate. The skull and the bones, or lightning bolts. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. The Il Cornuto. Continuing on. Here is the hugely successful and popular Twilight series and Forbidden Fruit. And you see the blood connotation. Of course, this is exalting vampirism. Drinking of the blood. The Bible says the life is in the blood, and that's what vampires do. Drink the life. And they are after our lives and our souls. In this case, look at the single eye symbolism, the spiritual eye, the eye of Lucifer. This is sick. Sick fashion. Single eye symbolism. You can see here now, there's that bindi or that connotation of the opening of the spiritual eye. In this case, the bullet hole. I mean, what is going on here? Opening up of the bowel? Sex and videotapes and split personalities? Same actresses now? Male-female hybrids? going on. This whole decade has been fascinated with vampires and it's all supposed to be fantasized for you to take in. This is vampirism. This is what they show evil on screen so you can get entertained by it. They suck you in and they kill you and kill your soul for eternity. 666 Park Avenue, you see the content, uh, connotation of the checkerboards and Freemasonry. And that is airing, I believe it just aired, this is 2012 uh, in the fall, and I might have a little more information on that later.